Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonnet Television. We're going to go from the studio here at Sonnet Television over to Starcar and see what they're up to. They're working on a Ford Interceptor, but it's a little bit different. So let the guys tell you about it. Hey Devin, what's cooking? I uh, was getting the intersector wires ran through the door. Now this is a special intersector, correct? Uh, yeah, it's going to be for the uh, crime scene investigation team. Right. So it'll have pretty much most law enforcement lighting in the vehicle, but mm -hmm. you're also putting some other specialized equipment in the back as well, right? Yeah. And yeah. that includes uh, a uh, special box. Yeah, a truck vault. Truck vault box. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's take a look at the lighting around here. So right now you're running the intersector cable through the door. Mm -hmm. Of course the intersector product is from Soundo. And this is a Ford intersector utility, so not to get confused. I see you also mounted some Enforce surface mount light heads up on the uh, on the rack here on the rail that's going along the body that's again something they wanted to have up here because they're not going to put a full-size light bar on it correct yeah Went and picked up the power inverter for this. Oh, great. Yep. Hey, Danny. Huh? Surprise! Hi, Stuart. <laughs> How are you? What do you got cooking? I'm putting in an inverter under the seat. And this is all part of the uh, package with this particular vehicle? Yeah, this is a CSI vehicle. And then you've got the uh, console and stuff on the uh, far shelf, you're putting that together? Yeah, it's over on the back table over there. Okay, we'll take a look at that in a second. Hey Devin, what you got cooking on your side? I'm uh, just going to put the Sencom in the rear here, and so I'm just extending some wires. Right, so basically the amplifier is going in the back and the controller will be up the front. Yep, yeah. Jenny, you got the uh, truck vault mounted in. Yep, and the uh, rear partitions in. 
Uh, that truck bolt lifts up, is that right? You just take out these two screws right here, and then the whole thing lifts up. So you can get access to the uh, rear tire compartment? Yeah. And then the bolt itself just simply slides out when you need to get in access? Yeah. So Danny, one of the other features of this particular vehicle, because again, it's going to be set up for CSI, is it also has a power inverter on board, which allows you to do a 12 to 110. Yeah, they uh, are using it for scene lights when they get to where they're going. And right. So. Got to plug in on the back bumper right here. Now on the truck full product, basically you want to get access to the spare wheel, which is an integral part of the safety feature of the Ford Interceptor Utility. In other words, the spare wheel has to stay in the wheel well to act as reinforcement in the event that this vehicle gets rear-ended at speeds around 75 miles an hour. It acts as part of the uh, crush protection. So how do you uh, lift up the box and get access to that? Um, you would loosen these wing nuts on the side of the box. There's two on this side and two on this side. And when you lift it up, the box will slide forward. 
and give you room to pull the tire out. Go ahead and throw on the uh, alley lights and let's see what they look like. There's the left one. And then again, you can switch it over to the uh, to the right one to the right side as well. Yeah. And then again, you've also got the airbag cutoff switch down here, which will turn off the passenger side airbag and then you've got the Amber Johnson mount in position as well. Mm -hmm. CSI Miami maybe? Well not really, we'd like to think about it. The weather here in the northwest might be uh, not the Miami type temperature wise but that's the Ford Interceptor Utility built for a department here in Oregon actually which will be a CSI vehicle. I'm Stuart, you've been watching Sony Television, and again, a shout out to everybody at Star Car, thanks Emil.